Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LWC Stack. So guys, in today's example, I'll teach you how you can get value from a static resource into your Lightning Web Component or how you can use a static resource here. Okay, so guys, for today's example, we'll be having few images as our static resource and we will display that image on our Lightning Web Component. Okay, so let me open my org. So this is my default org and let's download few images first. Let's say uh, if we download Salesforce logo. All right, let's take this one maybe. Or maybe we can search for PNG files. Okay, I will use this one. I will save that image as Salesforce logo in my download folder or maybe let's save it directly on desktop. Okay, let's keep this file and let's have one more image that could be why not our blocks logo so let's search for salesforce bold and this is the logo we can use here so let's save image salesforce bold logo let's see so we are having two images here and now we will upload them as a static resource All right, we are not having any static source here. So let's name the first file as Salesforce logo. Okay, so that must be in desktop and here it is. Let's make the cache public. Okay, it is saved. Let's create another one and let's name it. Salesforce Bolt logo, which will be our logo. All right, guys, so I have created two static resource here. Now I will be using these static resource in a lightning web component. So I will create the component now. Okay, create lightning web component. Let's name it the static, static resource, okay. Let's save it and let's save these in a default folder. Okay, now we will just copy the bundles first. All right, and use the XML. Okay, let's save it. Now we will work on the JavaScript part first. So basically we will be binding the logos from the static resource and you can use this syntax for that. You just have to import and after that you have to use the name. Let's say Salesforce logo from Salesforce. Then you can use resource URL and after that you can use your static resource name. Like for this one, my name was Salesforce logo. Let me just copy this. Okay, this will be Salesforce Bolt logo and the file name was also Salesforce Bolt. Okay. All right. Now we will expose this URL to the UI template. So we will have the parameter here again. Uh, Salesforce logo URL is equal to Salesforce logo. Okay, and Salesforce port logo URL is equal to Salesforce port logo. Okay, so we are done with the JavaScript part. Now we will move to the HTML. 
and let me just copy the basic HTML part from one of my previous component. I will take these. Okay, let me just paste it here and we have to put the closing tags. Okay. All right, that's it. Let's sort it once. Okay, cool. Now, guys, I will be using pure HTML tags here. So, we will use IMG SRC. All right, so in first one, we will use Salesforce logo URL. Okay. And in the second one, we will use Salesforce bold logo URL. Okay, and let's change the title. Static resource, okay. Let's save it and deploy it. Deploy source log. Okay, the component has been deployed. Now let's go to the application and we can create a separate tab for these other examples so i will do one thing i will go in the app manager this is my application so let's edit it okay let's build a new page and i will name it other other examples okay let's keep the layout of three regions all right page is ready we'll drag the static resource here okay guys so as you can see the static resource is displaying here let me just hit the save activate it and I will activate it for the specific application. Okay, and here it is. Let's drag it to the end. Okay. Okay, let's save it and go back. This is my application this is the other example tab and here we are so as you can see guys uh, we are having both logos here these are slightly identical because i have used the same cloud and definitely because the my blog is also related to salesforce so okay so guys that's how you can just use the static resource in your org in lightning web components okay so guys, uh, that's it for today and I hope you learned something new. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.